was out a couple of weeks ago at Media Day, uh, the day before SHOT Show in Las Vegas, and uh, looking at a lot of interesting things. One thing I saw that that uh, I really liked was this small uh, Railmaster um, laser from Crimson Trace. On all my carry handguns, I want a laser sight on them. And I'll get into that a little bit later about the advantages of, of a laser sight. But all of my carry guns have a Crimson Trace laser on them. But this little thing, uh, I, this one is mounted on this Ruger SR-22 pistol, which is a, a some people carry little 22s for defense because they're small, the recoil's light, and particularly on a small caliber, but really on any caliber, where you put the bullet is what makes the difference. You miss somebody with a 45, they still don't have a hole in them. But a whole lot rather put uh, three or four 22s in somebody than miss them with something larger. But anyway, back to the laser sight. This little thing will fit on any pistol that has an accessory rail that's either, either Weaver or a Picatinny compliant. Um, it weighs about a half an ounce is all it weighs with a battery, mounting screws, everything on it, and it fits right on the rail. The one thing I particularly like about this one, there's been uh, rail mounted lasers out for a long time. Most of them are just, you know, cheap junk. Uh, Crimson Trace really thought this one out well about where they put the activation button. A lot of, uh, a lot of these things, they require you to reach up with your other hand and near the muzzle right, when you're drawing a weapon and push a button and turn it on something. Crimson Trace not that way. It's got ambidextrous on and off switches on here. And as you draw the pistol out from your holster, the switch falls right under where your finger is supposed to be. It's supposed to be right alongside that trigger guard. And as you draw it and present the weapon, you push that button and it turns the laser on. Turns it on good bright dot. Turn it off with the same one. Same with the other hand. It's right under your trigger finger when you draw that weapon. Because your, your finger is not supposed to be on that trigger until um, you got it pointed at the target. So as you draw it out, it turns on instantly and you can get right on your target and go to work. One thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is using the laser effectively on target. Now, a lot of people tell me, and they may be better, better people than I am or whatever, and on the ranges, all these professional things you go to, training facilities, they tell you concentrate on the front sight. And that's wonderful. If you're shooting at a paper target out in front of you, you concentrate on that front sight, it'll work. But I guarantee you, if somebody's coming at you with a tent on taking your life with a knife or gun or whatever, you're going to be focused on that target. The thing about a laser, it puts the dot on the target. So you just you, you look at your target, both eyes wide open, the way they'll be, and, and start pulling that trigger. And, it, and the bullet's going to go where that red dot is. Now, whether or not you can concentrate on the front side, that's one thing. Another advantage of it is, a lot of times, you don't have room to bring up in a proper weaver stance and, and get your eyes right on to uh, get that weapon out where it's supposed to be to use the sight. Sometimes you'll have to shoot from down low. You'll be defending yourself with your hand. Whatever, you may be laying on your back. You've got to put the bullet on target. With the laser, the bullet is going to go where that dot is. All you got to do is you just put the dot on there and that bullet's going to follow that right there on that X and it'll go to it. But what you do is when you draw your weapon with this, you, you switch hands here, you activate your laser, you put it out there and like now I'm even using, a, using my weak hand. I'm left-handed but with that I can still put that bullet where I need to go on target. Put the X on there, put the trigger, whatever position you're in. Now, there's another thing. A lot of people say, well, I can do point shooting. You know, across the room or whatever. They, again, they may be a lot better shot than I am. If you can point shoot at something and you can hit your target, that's fine. I can too. But here's another thing you might want to think about. Let's look at this target over here a minute, folks. Suppose this is your, your wife or your daughter or your grandkid or something. Hostage. Somebody's got her. And he's standing behind her, like that. And this is all the target you got. Then are you going to risk point shooting when they're dragging your family member away or whatever, maybe knife at the throat or whatever? You can do that, but you can put your put the laser sight on there, put the dot on the target, and you can. That's something I wouldn't want to risk if I didn't know exactly where that was going. Now if it's low light or whatever, 
you can do that if you can make out the target you can put the bullet where the dot is anyway this uh, little laser from Crimson Trace uh, Crimson Trace makes what I think is the best lasers on the market uh, I use them on, on all my defensive weapons um, it, it adds hardly no bulk to here uh, it will uh, uh, take a special holster to accommodate it if your holster is not cut for a lighter laser or anything uh, Rob Lahick, Simply Rugged again, simplyrugged.com. He's cutting holsters for these or it'll fit around your light or whatever uh, for this little Ruger or anything. Remember, it don't have to be on the SR-22. Um, any handgun, rifle, or shotgun that's got a standard accessory rail on it, Picatinny or Weaver style, uh, this little laser will fit right on it. And it's from Crimson Trace.